data science has become a buzzword in the IT industry. Even in the current times of recession, there are abundant job opportunities available in the field of data science. Lucrative salaries is yet another benefit this IT domain has in offer. And if you are looking to get your foot in the door and start your career in this exciting field, securing an internship is an excellent place to start. That being said, hello everyone, welcome to yet another exciting session by IntelliPath. Today with this video, we'll be discussing some tips and tricks that can help you land that dream internship and gain the valuable experience you need to kickstart an enthralling career in data science. But before we begin with that, make sure to subscribe to IntelliPath YouTube channel so that you won't miss out on any technical update coming from our end. Before we delve into how to get an internship in data science, it is important to understand what data science entails. All of us know that amount of data that is being generated every day is increasing exponentially. The sources of data and the ability to collect and store it has come a long way in just the last decade itself. Companies nowadays use a variety of tools and techniques to mine patterns in the data and gather useful insights. That in a nutshell is what data science is all about. Simply put, data science involves the use of various techniques to understand data and build predictive models to make business decisions. So if data science is all about deriving insights and finding patterns from the data, then what is the difference between a data scientist and a statistician? Excellent question, let's find out. Both data scientists and statisticians work with data to derive useful insights from it. A statistician is more focused on identifying the relationship in the data while a data scientist works towards using the relationships and building models to predict future outcomes. Statisticians do use tools like R, Excel or MATLAB since these tools do have a number of frameworks for data analysis. On the other hand, data scientists mostly work with Python, Apache Spark, etc. for exploring the data and building models. In a very basic sense, data science goes beyond understanding patterns in data. Let me put forward the components of data science so that you'll get an idea about what you'll have to learn in order to land an internship in the field. First component on our list is machine learning. ML is use of algorithms such as linear regression, logistic regression, decision trees, etc. to learn from the data and make informed decisions. Then comes natural language processing. NLP is a branch of data science that deals with analyzing, understanding and deriving information from textual data. All those reviews you see on Amazon or all the tweets you browse through daily, NLP techniques are used to pass through them and understand the sentiment of users. NLP is definitely one of the hottest fields in the data science right now. To understand why, I guess the word chat GPT is enough. Third component of data science we have is computer vision. As the name suggests, computer vision gives machines the ability to see and understand their surroundings. Ever notice how Facebook automatically suggests tags in a picture or how self-driving cars detect objects on the road? These are prime examples of computer vision. This is the field which has been a hot topic since last decade and I think it will continue to be. Final component on our list is recommendation engines. Anyone who has ever used Flipkart or Amazon has been part of a recommendation engine. This consists of analyzing the past user behavior to offer relevant recommendations or suggestions. Customers who bought this also bought or recommendations for you based on your past purchase are prime examples of recommendation engines at work. Basically, out of these four components, you'll be dealing with one component once employed. Although, it's quite critical to try your hands on all the components that will actually give you an edge over the others. Anyway, machine learning is going to be a stepping stone to master the next three components in the line. So having good knowledge of the same is must before you approach the internship in data science. Well, that's precisely what your second step is, preparing and honing data science skills. Now this preparation phase shall begin from ground up and the first step in the process will be learning statistics and probability. Well, it's not much of a learning, rather it's revision. Basically, you'll be clear with all these concepts throughout the 10 plus 2 phase. All you will need is a little polish. 
Remember, this is a crucial step. Without a solid understanding of statistics, you won't make much headway in the field. From analyzing the data and making valuable inferences to understanding how the model works, the basic concepts of stats and probability are integrated in the data science ecosystem. The basic concepts you'll need to revise are descriptive statistics, probability, and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics involves mean, median, mode, variance, and standard deviation. Once done with that, you'll move on to probability. Here you'll cover Bernoulli trials, probability mass function, central limit theorem, normal distribution, etc. Finally, you'll dive into inferential statistics, where you'll cover confidence interval, hypothesis testing, and correlation. Once done with all that, next step in learning journey is going to be coding preparation. There is no getting away from it. AutoML is definitely being accepted in the industry. But right now, there is no alternative to cold hard coding skills. The two most popular programming tools these days for data science are Python and R. You must be familiar with at least one of the two. Both of them are open source programming languages with a massive active community that's growing day by day. So start practicing, understand concepts and implement programs and get a feel for these languages. Now that you have covered the basics of statistics and probability and have worked on your coding skills, the next step would be to learn the basics of machine learning. Make yourself familiar with common machine learning algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, naive Bayes, k-nearest neighbor and support vector machines. Try to focus on algorithms at a time and understand the intuition behind each technique. Having a theoretical knowledge of the algorithms and how they work is an important part as being able to implement the algorithm. If you know how the algorithm works, it will be easier for you to understand the various parameters of the algorithm, tuning those parameters and also for deciding which algorithm to use with which type of data. Well, once you are done with preparation phase, it's time to complement all that effort by showcasing your skills. Now, you'll build your digital presence. Statistics, programming, and machine learning alone will likely not land you that intention. You need to build your digital presence. Showcase your immense potential and demonstrate the skills you have acquired during the data science journey. Let the world know. Create a strong LinkedIn presence, optimize all the sections of it. Upload the projects you went through while practicing in the learning phase onto your GitHub profile. Make sure you make your GitHub profile quite attractive and enticing. You could also try your hands on writing blogs on Medium or towards data science which will improve your digital presence more. Next thing is networking with professionals in the field using tools where we already built our presence. You go through LinkedIn search for people in the industry and start a conversation. Cold outreach sounds like a drag, but believe me, it will help you in the long run. Probably you'll end up getting internship recommendation from some of the top professionals. Other way around, if you are in college, you should go ahead and attend career fairs. Doing so will expose you to number of employers out there and probably you'll end up winning a great first impression. In the next phase, you'll create and share a resume, internship application and cover letter. You make sure to put these documents out there in the mailboxes of HRs that you got in communication with during career fairs, or you share them among the network you created digitally. And I'm sure with time, you'll end up receiving a few calls from different employers. All that remains between you and that internship now is an interview. First, pat yourself on the back for getting through all the stages of the journey. Be confident about yourself. I mean, the fact that you made it till here entails you are capable enough to get that internship. Approach the interview with confidence and in no time, you'll end up getting the internship. That's all the tips we have for you guys to catch an internship in data science. We are pretty sure you'll end up getting what you desire if you follow the pathway we mentioned. I wish you best of luck for the journey. Thank you all for being here till the end of this video. I hope this video was informative. If you have liked this video, Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to IntelliPath YouTube channel.